It's a love-hate relationship, and it's more hate than love. When you're running against the clock, you're always chasing your former self and chasing your previous best time. Every day you get better and post a faster time, the ghost of your past self is there the next day taunting you with those numbers, hoping you won't beat them. Running gives you a fierce respect for numbers, because you are what your numbers say you are. Nothing more, nothing less. If I posted a bad time, there might have been reason, injury, fatigue, but no one cared. My numbers in the end were all that anyone would remember. The art of running is largely about forgetting. You must forget your limits, you must forget your doubts, your pain, your past. You must forget that internal voice screaming, begging, not one more step. And when it's not possible to forget, you must negotiate with it. Thinking over all the runs in which my mind wanted one thing and my body wanted another, those laps in which I had to tell my body, yes, you raised some excellent points, but let's keep going anyway. People make the mistake of thinking only elite Olympians are athletes, but everyone's an athlete. If you have a body, you're an athlete. Running doesn't take skill or talent, it takes one thing, effort. And everyone can give effort. So even if you're not a so-called runner, you can still give the effort. So get out there, go for a run, and then do it again.